What's up Backgammon nerds? I'm Mark Olsen from Backgammon Galaxy. In this video we're going to talk about the difference between a holding game and a back game. So let's have a look at the board here. This is the opening position and what happens in every single backgammon position or backgammon game is that at some point one of the players successfully escapes his or her back checkers before the other player does. So in this case let's say that white was in a position like, let's say he's in a position like this. So we can see here white has no back checkers because he has no checkers in green's front position. So he's achieved full freedom. Green on the other hand still has back checkers. So again, this happens in every single game of backgammon. One player achieves full freedom before the other one. So let's say green has an anchor over here. He has an anchor here on the 22 point, let's say. And maybe he's also built a little bit of prime over here. Something, something like this. This would be a holding game position. We call it a holding game because green is holding on to his anchor and holding white here and trying to turn the game around by hitting a turnaround shot. We can see that green has no prime value because there are no back checkers to be primed. He has no blitz value because there are no back checkers to be blitzed. He's left with contact value. He can still win the game, he's still in it, you know, it's, it's even a take, if white doubles this position, it's an actually an easy take for green, uh, because he's still in the game. But he doesn't win through priming or blitzing, or racing for that matter, he's winning through, oh, he can win through contact here. He can win, as long as you have a single point of contact, you still have a chance in the game of backgammon. You can get lucky and hit a shot and turn the game around. So this is a holding game, and the holding game comes in uh, many different variations. Uh, this would be the 22 point, anger holding game it can also be basically we just name the holding game according to what point you have so this would be the 20 point holding game or some call it the five point holding game but that's the same or you have the bar point holding game over here generally you have two different categories of holding games you have the shallow holding games where you've managed to make an advanced anchor with your back checker so that would be on the 21 point on the 20 point which we call the golden point or the 18 point the bar point those are the shallow holding games. They're typically the stronger ones because here you, you still have an opportunity to race as well. If you get lucky and roll a double five, you might catch up in the race. So you're not, from the shallow holding games, you're not getting primed. Therefore, you still have some racing chance. Then we have the other category. That's the deep holding games. So those are the holding games where you have an anchor on the ace point or the deuce point. They're not as strong usually as the, the shallow holding games because here you can it's very difficult to catch up in the race. You're essentially getting primed when you're down here. That uh, means that usually you get the shots later on in the game from the deeper holding games. So for instance, let's imagine that White had all of his checkers moved in to his home board. Now you prefer to have a, 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 or sorry, a deep holding game rather than a shallow one because now we're late in the game, late in the barren phase. So here it's better to have a deep one because it, you still have a chance to hit. If you, if you have a shallow anchor here, and let's say the position is something like this, you don't have much contact value. It's rather easy for white to just clear the last points here in front of the anger. Okay, good. So that was the holding games. We had the deep ones, we had the shallow ones. Oh yeah, by the way, then we have the, the hybrid between a deep and a shallow holding game. That's the 22 point holding game. It's neither a sh deep nor a shallow. It's something in between. It has a little bit of both worlds. You can still get lucky and catch up in the race from the 22 point, but you're also kind of getting primed because it's a little bit deep. So that's just something in between. Okay. Let's have a look at the back games. So a back game is essentially the same uh, type of position as a holding game. It's also a contact position. But the difference between a holding game and a back game is that you have two angers made in a back game. So here we go. So back, a back game is essentially a holding game with two angers. That's what a back game is. And again, just like the holding game, the back game comes in different categories. We have the, the shallow back games, those are the back games where you have the five point as one of the, the two anchors. So the shallow back games, that would be for instance the 5-4 back game, the 5-3, the 5-2, or the 5-1. Those would be shallow back games. The shallow back games, they often play out as a holding game because right now you have a back game, but later on you might just run with one of your checkers and you still have a holding game with some extra contact or you might run with both and then you have a holding game. This means that in a shallow back game, you don't, get, you don't crunch as often, so it's more robust in terms of timing. But it's also not quite as strong in terms of generating shots. Uh, so that's the shallow back games. Then we have the mid-range back games. Those are the ones where you have the four points included. And uh, so that would be the 1-4, the 2-4, or the 3-4. Those generate a little bit more shots than the shallow one with the five point. 
but it's a little bit more risky now because you're getting primed, so you might end up crunching your front position, which is the worst thing that can happen. Shallow back games, mid-range back games, and then you have the deep back games, the final category in this video, and those are the, the back games where you, it's, it's essentially the 1-3, the 2-3, or the 1-2 back game. Those are the deep back games. And uh, the deep back games, if you have good timing, which we're gonna talk about in another, in another video, those are actually the strongest back games. But the deep back games, they generate the shots quite late. So you better time your front position well, have a nice prime, and then when you get a shot, it's usually a double shot. And then you can hit your opponent with a turnaround shot, and hopefully you have a six prime by then, and win the game that way. Um, the deep back games, however, are risky, because as you can see, you're really getting primed here with the four checkers deep. So if you don't have proper timing here, you're gonna crunch your front position, you're gonna collapse, and then basically you're gonna lose a gammon or even a back gammon. Yeah, so that's the difference between a holding game and a back game. And uh, we had some different categories of each type as well. See you guys next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, bye. Thanks for watching this video. Did you smash that like button? Remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell to not miss out on future videos. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and my personal Instagram, Mark Olsen 10 And see you in the next video. Backgammongalaxy.com